I'll be walking you through a complete tutorial on how to customize your Shopify Spotlight theme. We'll go over settings on how to customize the overall theme layout, your homepage, your product page, your navigation, your footer, you name it, we'll cover it in this video. And by the end of it, you should have a customized theme that's gonna match your brand nicely. So let's dive right into it here. I'm gonna go to my Shopify dashboard, navigate to the left-hand side menu, clicking on online store. So I've just installed a clean version of Spotlight here. So I'm gonna publish this to my current theme. If you don't have it yet, hit add theme here and visit the theme store. You can really easily install this theme from there. So in order to customize anything in your Shopify theme, you wanna make sure it's the current published theme here. And then we can go to customize. This button color does sometimes change, but right now it's been stuck at a black background. So it should be right here. And this is going to open up our theme editor. If you haven't used Shopify's 2.0 theme editor before, it's a little overwhelming at first, but it becomes quite easy to navigate. So essentially you're gonna have several different columns. On your left hand side, you have your overall selection. So you have your app embeds, theme settings, and sections. This is going to be a sub menu here for each section you open up. Then you have our main window here, which is a preview. And on the right hand side, there's gonna be more details if we were to click on any of the elements. So I'd go to the product page and select the title here or the variant picker. We're gonna get different customizations depending on what we click. So I'm gonna navigate back to the home page here and let's go into a little bit of a breakdown of which each section does. So we're gonna start at the overall here. So your app embeds, these are essentially, if you install any apps from the Shopify app store, you can enable them here. Although you'll do this during the walkthrough, so I wouldn't worry about this too much. Next, we have our theme settings. So these are the overall settings for our theme. We have things such as our logo, our typography, our inputs, our button customizations. This is gonna be the overall look and feel of your theme, and it's going to apply to everything in your theme. As an example, you get different color schemes to select, and certain elements in your theme will use these color schemes. So if I go and change the solid background color to a red instead, that's going to apply to each element using this color scheme here. There's quite a few settings here, so I'm not gonna go into each of them, but I would click through these to get a feel on how everything works, make a few changes, and you can start to see how it actually applies to your theme. They did a pretty good job at organizing this and they're all in sub menus, so it's not too overwhelming at first. So next, let's click on our sections. So this is going to change depending on the page we're looking at, but this easily gives you an overview of what's on the page currently. As for this current homepage, there's really nothing here. We just have a featured collection, our header is empty and our footer is empty. We'll go fill these out in a sec, but first I wanna show you the rest of the preview. So at the top here, we can see our overall global templates. Yours will probably just say default for now. I wouldn't worry about these. These were just put in when I was doing different videos for the Shopify store. Next here, under this drop down menu, we have our overall templates. So we have our homepage, our product page. We can navigate to collections, pages, blog posts, our cart, or our checkout. You can also get there simply just by clicking the elements in the preview. So if I click on this outdoor camping bag product, it's gonna change it to the default product preview here, and I can go and make my changes. To note, these templates are going to apply to any products that use them or any collections that use them. So if I change the default product template here, it's not going to only apply to this product. It's going to apply to every product using this template. If you haven't changed it, that should mean every product in your store. For the final bit, I'll explain before we go and customize our homepage and then our navigation and our product pages is going to be this section in the top right. So here, here we can change the preview on different devices. So if I want to see what it looks like on mobile, I can select mobile. Then there's also full screen. There's also an undo button. And then to finalize any of the changes you made, you just want to hit save here in the top right. And if this is your live published theme, it's going to update that to anyone who visits your site. So let's change this back to desktop and we'll navigate back to our homepage here. So I'm going to start adding a few sections. I'm going to add a hero section, a collection list, and then I'll go edit the navigation and footer. And just following along here, it's going to give you a really solid idea on how the theme customization works. So let's start off with just the center here. I want to add a hero section. So you can see I'm on my home page and if I go under the template I can go to add section and here we're going to get a bunch of pre-built sections from the spotlight theme so we can go and select whatever one we want to add in and in this case I want to add the image banner. This is often seen on the home page for many different e-commerce sites. So we're just gonna stick with this common practice. So I can see I now have my image banner. If I minimize this, it's just gonna close this. 
and it makes it easier to move here. And you just want to hover over these six dots. I'm going to drag it up here and it's going to be on the top of my page. We can see there are sub elements to it. So we have our image, our text above and our buttons and it's maxed out at the default three by three blocks. We're just going to leave this as default. So if we click on this section, this goes back to the right hand side we first talked about at the beginning of the video. This is going to give the detailed settings and I can go and edit any of these and it's going to be reflected here. I can also click on each of the individual elements and it's going to add even further customization. So if I click on image banner, it's going to be the overall customization. Let's go and add a background image. So we can see our first image and our second image. Let's go and edit the first image and I'm going to explore free images. These are images included from Shopify here. I'm going to select this one, hit select in the bottom right. Now that's going to change my background. I'm going to ignore quite a few of these settings as not to get lost in the details. We have some important things to note, such as the color scheme. Mentioned earlier, different elements use different color schemes by default. So changing it is going to apply to every element using a color scheme. So this one uses scheme one, and we did change that color to red, which I am okay with, and I'm okay with the overall settings here. Next, let's click on the image banner here. You can change the heading. I can say, welcome to my store. I can change the size. Maybe I want it to be a little smaller. I can then click on the subtext element. I could say something such as shop the latest deals. We can change the style to a subtitle or an uppercase. Then I can go and change the button text as well. So I could say shop camping gear. The second button could be shop. I could set the second one to an outline button. So they're gonna stand out from each other. And I can also go and paste different links. You can copy and paste a link in here. You can also search for it. So let's say I specifically just want the camping. And for the second one, I'll just set it to a specific page. It's gonna be the About Us page. Obviously we'd wanna set that to what they actually are, but let's speed up to the next section. So let's go and add a collection list. So again, going to add section, I'm gonna add a collection list here. It's gonna automatically pull some of these. So if I click on it, the right hand side is going to open up. I'm fine with the settings here and the color scheme. If I click on each individual collection, I can go and select what the collection actually is. So let's go digital albums, select the next one. I'm gonna to go to camping. If there is a collection image, it is also going to preview here. So I would encourage you to go and add those as it's gonna look a little nicer than just this. And for the third one, I'm gonna to go to homepage. And quickly here, I am making a mistake. I need to actually hit select in the bottom right to finalize those changes. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to find out how much money you've actually made. You have all your different costs of goods sold, your ad spend, your transaction fees. It can be a lot to keep track of. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It has a seamless integration with Shopify, and it's going to sync with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold providers. You're going to get one-click calculations. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time metrics. You get a ton of different breakdowns here so you can truly understand your store's performance and this is going to let you make smarter business decisions. There's a link in the description below where you can get a 15 day free trial where you can test drive everything for yourself. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. So make sure you check it out and it's going to simplify the entire profit and accounting experience. So I just went and finished that. So let's move on to our header navigation next. To do so, I'm going to go and edit the menus first. I'm going to hit save in the top right to finalize the changes I've made. On the top left hand side, I'm going to click exit and then under online store under navigation, I want to make sure that my menus are set up correctly before I select them. So to add a menu, you can just click add menu here. I have some existing menus. If I go to main menu, you can see I've added some elements already. So you can drag any of these around if you don't like the order. You can also add sub menus by dragging underneath like so. I'm gonna move this down a little more. But you're essentially gonna add all the important links to your store in the header. You can also add any new items here by clicking add menu item. And you can just add the name and then add the collection length or page length depending on what you're trying to add. This looks okay here as I've already edited this. But let's head back to themes and then go to customize again to open up the theme editor. Now to add our menu, let's go to header in the top left here. And then on the right hand side, I'm gonna click select menu. And I'm gonna select that main menu, hitting select in the bottom right to finalize that. Now my links have populated at the top here. If I click on any of them, it will open up said page. So next let's go and add a logo. I'm gonna go to theme settings, go to logo, then I'm going to select an image. I've already uploaded a logo here, so I'm gonna go and select that pre-uploaded image, 
But if you wanna upload a new one, there's an upload image button right here. I'm going to click on done. It's gonna add a logo here in the top left. I can also go and change this side if I want to maybe 60 pixels. You can also select a favicon and it's gonna be scaled down to 32 pixels. This is just gonna be the icon that's gonna show on the browser tab. It's always good to have this too as it makes it easier for people to navigate between tabs. So I'm gonna go and select this as again. It's gonna automatically scale that down. So I'm okay with that for now. Next, let's go and customize our footer. So I'm gonna to go to our sections again and then go down to the footer section. You can see by default, there is a brand information section, but I can also can go and add different blocks. Maybe I wanna add a menu and I'll add some text as well. So now that we've added those, we can know that the brand information section is still empty. And if we click on this element here and go to the right, we can see this block will display your brand information. And this is in our theme settings. So I wanna click edit brand information. It's gonna automatically load it here under our overall theme settings and it's expanded this window. I could say the best camping gear on the planet. I could say get the best deals. I could also add an image if I want and set the width, but it's gonna pull automatically from there. So let's go back to sections and then footer again. And for the quick links, I can go and change the menu. I've already set up a footer menu, so I'm gonna leave that there. And you can also change the title. I'll just leave this here as quick links. As for the last one, it's a custom heading. So maybe you want something different from your brand information. You can go and throw that in there. Lastly, you can also add an image block if you would like as well. So overall, we've done our basic homepage now, our navigation, and our footer menu down here. So let's go and make some edits to the product page just so you get a feel of what a different page looks like. So I'm gonna go and click on the outdoor camping bag here. And as you can see, this has opened up the default product template. So this is gonna operate very similar to the homepage section in terms of having our left-hand side. And under template here, we can simply just rearrange any of these elements if we want. We can also add new blocks. As we can see, it's pretty sparse right now. So I'm gonna add a new complete section and it's just gonna be a featured collection. So I can add this in and I can go and change the collection if I want by hitting select collection. Let's say I wanna show just camping products here. I can hit select to finalize that. I can just go and keep on adding sections as well. Maybe I want an image banner. Maybe I wanna add different review widgets I've added as well you can do so through this process here. So overall, very similar. It's just gonna depend on what you want to build and how you want it to look. My recommendation is to get a feel of what you can add, and then go and find a product template you really like and try to recreate that in Shopify's product page. Knowing what you have in mind before you actually go and build something is gonna save you a lot of time. I know when I first got started, I spent tons of time customizing things that don't really matter. So doing a little bit of work beforehand, is just gonna save you time in terms of how things should look correctly. So overall, this is going to conclude the video on Spotlight theme customizations. It's a very similar process between all of Shopify's themes, and overall they've made it extremely easy to set up and to make any changes along the way. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.